What does it all mean? Welcome to Bad Gear, the show about. Man, his audio sounds really weird sometimes. The world's most. It sounds like it's recorded in a sphere or something, or like a bathroom. Tated audio tools. Music technology is a cruel and shallow money. Okay. A trench, a long plastic hallway where thieves and maniacs run free and good people die like dogs. There's also a negative side. Today we are going to talk about Poly and Play Plus and the Poly and Play Plus. Given the strange event Bald Gear, true. surrounding its release, it might. Hey, 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 hey. I know that meme. I know that meme. I almost made that one. I almost did the teenage engineering one instead, though. Wait, where is it? Where is it? God damn it. Where is it? Where is it? It's released. There it is. Oh, man. Dude, they move so fast, man. The, the memes just move so fast. I almost made this edit, but I was just like, you know what? Not too many people know what the hell this is, like when I, if I'm going to post it on Twitter. So I was like between the Teenage Engineering and FL Studio. And I ended up going with FL Studio because I knew that pissed more people off. And piss people off, it did. Every time I watch Bad Gear, I break the world record for pausing a video because my mind needs to see every meme. Yeah, they just move so fast. It might come as a surprise that it was only the second biggest gear control. Let's see. Controversy of winter 20. Uh, no, I th I would say the Poly and Play Plus was more controversial than the, the Teenage Engineering one. At the first glance, it might seem suspicious that this Play Plus was sent over by Polyand as a long-term loan. But rest assured, it will be roasted like any other piece of gear and include. Come on, let's be let's be serious here. Bad Gear's roasting is more like a light. Um, it's more like putting it in the microwave for like twenty seconds. Eh. 10 seconds. Closure mostly identical to the original play houses an upgraded chip in charge of me audio pills. You need to step it up, man. If you're gonna say you're roasting stuff, you gotta you gotta go harder, man. You do not go hard enough to even say you're roasting. I'm just keeping it real here with you. I'm keeping it real with you. I want to see you roast. I want to see you roast. Managing a stereo take. On the eight track sampler sequence. Dude, that looks like the fucking rabbit. The R R1 rabbit. What is that? The combo. Oh, okay. Uh. Three synth yeah, it's more like a meme gear. Yeah, he did try roasting the wave state. Okay, I need to see that. Capable of loading one of four. I still think that's really funny, dude. The WTFM, aka the what the fuck man. Four engine. Oh, wait, and also the FAT, aka fat. We will have a closer look at in a minute. Before we take a deep dive into the groove box itself, we will have to deal with the aforementioned controversy, which might have a negative impact on your cardiac health, especially if you own an or uh, what? Original play brought to the market in spring 2022. Okay. The first version received critical acclaim and promised some of the quirky goodness of the tracker without the need to learn its arcane 80s DAW dialect while adding much requested hand. You can hold my family hostage and I will never learn how to use a tracker, all right? I don't care. I don't care. Hands on control. Not happening. It did come with a few limitations like mono sample playback and lack of real sound synthesis, presumably due to ongoing supply chain issues on the chip market. Only around one and a half years later, Polyand released the machine they seemingly had wanted to release in the first place, ironing out these drawbacks and adding features like multi track USB audio. This is not not a firmware update, but requires early adopters to send their beloved play to Poland at their own cost and hand over. Yeah, I still think this whole situation was handled rather. Sh the Polyan Play original users kind of got. F they should have like warned them about this if possible, or like just charge more for the Play Plus. That way, they don't feel like they're getting f so bad. Like I know maybe they didn't want to make too much profit off it, like or whatever. But it would have been better just to charge more for it to make the original play owners not feel like dumbasses. Essentially, people were pissed because they lowered the price of the original play several hundred dollars, then gave the people who bought the original the option to upgrade for several hundred dollars. Meaning the people who bought the original and paid for the upgrade now are paying more than the people who just waited a year to get the Play Plus version that no one knew was coming. And on top of that, they didn't offer free shipping, just no warning for people who bought it a few months prior. And even more on top of that, it ruined the resale of this device. $199 or see the resale value taking a- Yeah, now he had to seize himself, I'm 99% sure. 
hit due to the reduced price of the non plus pushing total cost for an upgraded model over 1000 bucks. Ben Jordan publicly stated that he was okay with this, which resulted in a backlash that made him announce the end of his career as a gear reviewer. Heightened blood pressure levels aside, this video. I still think he overreacted to that. I don't know. It really just seems like a, a straw that broke the Jordan's back. I wouldn't mind a hardware upgrade path. It's happened for before, but it shouldn't have been a hundo. It should have been a hundo or something. See, the thing is, is like it was a year out though after the original one came out, and the price of it, I think, totaled up to more than what it cost for the Play Plus. I think I would have to go check. Fuck. The Play Plus workflow is mostly based on samples loaded from a micro SD card into a minuscule RAM capable of holding around 3 minutes of stereo samples. But hey, it's all about creative sequencing anyway. You can assign different samples and tonal attributes to each step, including a non real time resonant DJ style filter. I mean, it sounds good. There's a primitive AD envelope, overdrive, and bit crush, reverb, delay, and staples like volume, panning, pitch, and sample start end. I didn't find a way to set loop points within a sample though. Maximum pattern length of the 8 tracks is 64 steps, so Polyand included plenty of sequencer gimmicks to work around this limitation. There's micro timing, versatile ratchets, Chance goes beyond simple probability. Randomize can be assigned to basics like sample selection and octane. But also let you call in the Duke. Pattern length can easily be adjusted for each track independently, which turns play into a polymeter powerhouse. Especially when exploring the unorthodox play modes. Where it makes sense, the kind of wish we dived into the drama more. This part's kind of boring me. These features are mirrored to the eight monophonic MIDI tracks with a chord functionality. They can be used to trigger external hardware. and software instruments or the internal synthesizers. Speaking of which, maximum total polyphony of all synths in a Play Plus session is 8 and they come in the flavors Acid, <laughs> 2, I'm going to play my Jazz 15, 17th, 23rd chords, VA poly varieties, and 2 OPFM. There is no labeling for the synth parameters on the front panel, physical controls are limited to macros and you will have to go on a Roland worthy menu dive if you want to program your own sounds. Bummer. As we I think it's dope how like a lot of or some new year lately has like a mobile app where you can like kind of do some of the menu diving in that instead. It seems like it could save time. Yeah, talking of controls, the knobs are smooth. That was one cool thing about the um the Yamaha thing, the Yamaha seat track. Smooth, but I messed up a few jams because of the double tap switch mechanics and prefer the stepped main encoder for more precise edits. In addition to the aforementioned effects, there are master sounds. Dis if you could produce a sound louder than 1100 dB, you would create a black hole and ultimately destroy the galaxy. Guys, I think we this is a mission here. This is, you can destroy the earth if you can create a sound louder than 1100 dB. Now that's the real loudest war, right? Construction facilities quite similar to the ones I didn't like on the tracker. Plays are built to, well, be in played. Yet I was struggling to make real time recording of notes work. And performance mode, which is awesome by itself. That drum loop is familiar, guy. What is it called? I can't think of it. I can't think of the name of that drum loop. What is it? Uh, Amen. Amen. No, I've never heard of that before. Never. Oh, is that the one from Futurama? It's from Futurama, right? <laughs>
It's brand new. Uh, yeah, it is brand new. I think that's a brand new drum loop. Al it's almond break. Super useful. Build quality is great. I like the overall design, but the minimalist connectivity is probably not to everyone's taste. The Play Plus release certainly angered substantial numbers of Die Hard. Bro, this guy would not play around about his fucking audio. This is, <laughs> you do not want to fuck with this guy. You actually take your converter home, your, or his converter home, you're dead. The Play Plus release certainly angered some- Like, I feel like the comments here roast the gear harder than Bad Gear does. Start doing some of this shit in here, and then, yeah, the, you'll be roasting here. No additional apps, same hardware limitations than before. This is zero to the feedback while well, this person's struggling with English here. But just did a minor upgrade to milk customers. I am very disappointed with Polyan's choices. A Polyan Play Plus, a hardware update of all of their machine while the software bugs are so numerous. It's very frustrating, poor direction. Um, Polyan is a new Uli, never buying their gear ever again. Potential numbers of die hard. I just bought a play and asked a guy at Polyan if a new play was coming out. I'm pissed. See, that's what I'm saying, dude. That's kind of the that's kind of the bullshit there. They should have like told their customers. Polyan fans, is the final product worth all the drama? You have already heard the new Sims in today's intro too. Definitely gets the job done, but I didn't find any Daddy Rock drum machine. I mean, he's definitely featured gear that is bad and gear that is good. Samples. In I get it's a catchy name though. He misspelled bald gear. Maybe, do you know what? We might be onto something here and it's too late to change it at this point. Factory library. Now I wanna play. That's fire. Let's go, bald gear. After an initial phase of confusion, the workflow gets self-explanatory quickly and a few quirks and occasional bugs aside, making music on play is a pleasurable experience. The synths are refreshingly dirty. Switching between sample and MIDI mode isn't always practical in the- How much is the Play Plus again? Poly and Play Plus. I can't stop saying that, by the way. I just really like that joke for my video. Why is it so hard? Okay, hold on. You gotta write Poly and Play- Hey, busy. Poly and Play Plus. Seven ninety nine. That's that's okay, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. There's just too much gear, man. I can never like. I kind of want to buy something at some point, but I'm just. I can't decide. Heat of a life. Before. Yes, we're watching Vsauce. Let's create a real life dollar setup to work around it. I guess the only thing keeping me from buying some gear is like I just know it's all way easier to do in the DAW. I don't know. Like this same thing in a DAW would take what, like one fourth the time, maybe one eighth the time. Probably one eighth the time if you like are learning it at the same time. That's a mixed bag. Although I was missing some classics, the factory samples are abundant and top notch, but polyphonic MIDI recording is something you have to get used to. Time to combine them with a few jams of the stock library and add some DAW sheen and children of the night, what music they make if they try to squeeze lo-fi downbeat Berlin school and pseudo orchestral shenanigans into one bad gear finale. Okay. SP404, I'm waiting until after NAM to buy though. You modular because it's fun, not because it's productive. My productivity needs to be high, man. I, don't, I barely have time to make music at all. How does he do all this video? Sh you mean like this right here? It's probably just like video clips from random movies or like stock footage, like combined on top of each other. <laughs> I think he makes it from scratch if that's what you're asking this actually seems like it might be some like cheap like blender assets or something like something you can get online verdict let's get this out of the way first yes i would have been disappointed as an early adopter you should hire me as a meme guy i'm telling you he should bad gear bald gear 
I'm reaching out to you through this video because I know you watch a lot of the reaction videos that end up on the second channel. And it's probably, it's almost definitely will end up on there. I, I will be your meme guy, but you got to pay. I'm going to need that cash, man. I got, I, I get, I'm going to need that cash, man. I think we can go edgier. I think we can go harder. But I think it'll be good, all right? Let me know, man. Reach out to me. Of the original play, having to choose between either shedding out a significant amount of money or accepting diminished resale. Oh, you get paid in drink tickets? Or maybe I get paid in fucking uh, used gear? I, I might take that. I might take that. Becomes me. Guy steals memes from Discord. Hey, I steal memes from Discord sometimes. I can cook. I can cook the memes, too. I can cook them. You is hard to swallow. However, when we take all this out of the equation, Play Plus is a powerful and an innovative groove box. It Using a pot, wait, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Using a polyan sequencer for your pocket operator. <laughs> that's actually probably the funniest meme I've seen in one of his videos. It's like creative, I've never really, and I've never seen that meme before. It's not as quirky as its tracker siblings, but keep in mind that it comes with many idiosyncrasies that are certainly not everyone's cup of tea. All this being said, I would be more than willing to pay a few hundred bucks to have... I don't know, man. I spend twenty dollars on food all the time. I did it right before this. I'm more likely to spend twenty dollars on food, actually. If it's some canes or something. Oh yeah, man. You you best believe I'm gonna fucking do it, man. You get paid in the money that you save from not having to buy shampoo. I still think you do have to like wash your hair with something or your hair with something. I don't know. I mean, I've only been bald for like a week, so I I don't really know actually. Twenty dollars for cocaine for him or for me who's doing the cocaine twenty dollars for cocaine is not very much that's that's not that's not very much cocaine that's just enough cocaine to make you want more i'm trying to think what i did i mean because like the hair goes back pretty quickly i'm assuming he continually shaves it though i will say this weaver does heroin not cocaine come on true and only on the weekends by the way every other weekend i will say this though when you do shave your head bald it does feel really nice to do it with a razor because it's like really smooth afterwards and I feel like he probably does that constantly, just by looking at how smooth it is. My synth reviewing career because of saying this. Thanks for watching and see you next time. All right, that was Bad Gear with the Play Plus. We'll link him in the chat. You guys know who he is. You guys probably already subbed, but sub if you have not. Is the weekend coming up a heroin weekend? I don't know. Incorporated.